Rahman Rahim. Today we will talk about the third lecture in the myocardial perfusion image and the title of the lecture uh, Pharmacological Citrus Test and Imaging Protocol. The main titles inshallah today the name of the drugs, mechanism of action of each drug and the main side effects that can occur during an infusion period. Also we will talk about the protocols either technetium and thallium 201 protocol. In the beginning we should know the idea of the pharmacological stress test and why we do the pharmacological instead of exercise stress test. In the end of the second lecture we talked about the contraindication or the a complication that uh, occurs during exercise and we should stop the exercise and convert the patient to the pharmacological drugs. The main drugs it's four. The dibridamol, adenosine, with dibutamine, with regadinosone, the last FDA approved in 2009. The main idea of pharmacological drugs it's an increase blood flow by three to five times in the normal vessels. What does it mean? In case of coronary artery that complain from significant stenosis and give it the patient vasodilator, what will happen? When an increase vasodilator percent, that means an increase in the blood supply due to vasodilator effects to this area of stenosis. And that means there is areas will be hypoperfused on the myocardial perfusion imaging. This is similar to the effect of the exercise test and then uh, lead to an induced ischemia. The pharmacological test also it's not real exam for the ischemia due to cardiac workout not involved but rather a test of coronary flow reserved. هسه راح نسولف شيء كلش بسيط على effects of each one and how we can inject these ligands of vasodilator and the length of the uh, radio pharmaceutical injection after injection. The first one is the debridamol. The debridamol we we can use it in this percentage 0.56 milligram per kg. We can inject this drug intravenously in infusion state during four to six, uh, four to eight minutes. After the eight minutes, we should inject the technetium or the uh, or thallium. After fifteen minutes or twelve to, 15, uh, to fourteen minutes, we can do the uh, imaging. بروتوكول يعني نقدر نحقن بعد أربع إلى ثمان دقائق ونقدر وراها مباشرة نصور بعد ربع ساعة. The main things we should concert here if the dibridamol injected we should uh, ask the patient if there is any chest pain, any dyspnea, any palpitation, any nervosity that occur and also before injection, ask the patient if it's asthmatic or not. If it's asthmatic, we cannot give the patient the predamol and convert it to the dibutamine. So, بدينا نحقن من أربعة إلى ثمان دقائق وراها راح نطلع تكنيشيو ورا ربع ساعة نقدر نصور. Elimination of the dibridamol through the liver. Also, the second drug is the adenosine. Adenosine give in this percent 0.14 mg per kg per minute. In all adenosine, you can fast elimination and fast uptake. The infusion period from 4 to 6 minutes and after 8 minutes from the beginning of the infusion, we can do the imaging. The main elimination is, the, uh, is through cellular uptake and metabolism. Rigadinosone, the last 
update vasodilator, this is very rapid and very fast elimination. Give in a percent of 400 microgram during 20 seconds in bolus dose, not in infusion dose. So after four minutes from injection of the bolus dose, we can imaging the patient. The main uh, ex excretion site is the renal in a percent of 57 percent. The main idea of the adenosine normally and physiologically released from the coronary endothelial cells and activates four coronary receptor subtypes. A1, A2A, A2B, and A3. The main vasodilator effect is the A2A. When you produce the uh, vasodilator effect, short acting period, discontinuation of the infusion is the preventable way when the adverse effect occurs. هنا راح نسال الاكتيفيشن مال انذر ريسبتورز ايش راح يسوي لنا؟ ما راح يسوي لنا فايت زودايليتر افكتس بات كان ليد تو اذر سايد افكتس. The fourth drug is the dubutamine. Dubutamine patient when unable to do the exercise or patients with contraindication to vasodilator therapy like for, uh, like for example symptomatic asthma so we can give dubutamine here the mechanism of action of dubutamine like the following it is a synthetic catecholamine that acts on alpha and beta adrenergic receptors so producing enotropic and chronotropic effects and lead to increased cardiac overload or cardiac work in normal arteries lead to increased blood flow. If there is significant stenosis, regional blood flow does not increase and lead to hypoperfused area. So, أول ما نبدي بالinjection راح يكون المعدل matter rates of injection 5 microgram per kg per minute during 3 minutes. And after that, will increase the speed a rate of 90 of 10 sorry of 10 microgram per kg per minute for further three minutes and after that in the same rate for 10 minutes extra الى ان نوصل الى المعدل او الماكسيمم ريت اللي هو يكون 40 microgram per kg per minute and after that the tricell will be inject after one minute when we reach the maximum dose of 40 microgram per minute okay and after that the dubutamine infusion should be continue for one extra minute to ensure the uptake يعني احنا منا وصلنا لل 40 microgram ونحقنا التريسر لازم نبقى الانفيوجن دقيقة اضافية حتى نضمن للابتيك يكون بالصورة الصحيحة the main side effects that suspected due to dubutamine is the chest pain, arrhythmias, inability of the patient to tolerate the maximum dose, and the main hypotension. The main side effect is the hypotension. Hypotension and arrhythmias is dose related and need cessation of the infusion if it's occur. Also, one extra in, uh, note about the pharmacological citrus test. If the patient complain from asthma, should not start with dibridamol and start directly with dibutamine. If the patient during exercise complain from asthmatic attack or dyspnea or uh, chest pain, should give the patient aminophilin as an antidote for Dibridamol and Rigadinoson drugs. ورا هاي إذا كانت حالة البيشنت مستقرة راح يرتاح ورا فترة ورا هنبدأ مباشرة التصوير بمرحلة الستريس. بعد إكمالها راح نيجي نشوف التصوير وننطي رأينا بي ونبلغ المريض بضرورة القدوم لليوم التالي لمرحلة الريست ولكن 
في هذه المرحلة يكون فقط حقن التريسر بدون استعمال الدبري داون اوكي ايضا من ممكن عمل الاكسرسايز تيست قبل ما نعطي التريسر وهاي المراحل لازم احنا ناخذ جود بيشنت هيستوري جود بيرسونال هيستوري فروم ذا بيشنت تو افويد ذيس كومبليكيشن اولسو ذيس از ا جود تيبل فور ذا showing a summary of typical acquisition parameters for SPECT myocardial perfusion image with thallium and technetium. When you use the thallium, the dose, it will be 3.5 to 4 micro, micro millicurie. Uh, technetium, it's low. When used, technetium, uh, technetium agent. Uh, 10 to 15 minute uh, to 15 millicurie and have the highest dose 20 to 30 millicurie also when use the pharmacological drugs 5 to 10 minutes the time the peak of the uptake after that we can do imaging in the thallium technetium after 45 to 60 minutes with the low dose and with the high dose 45 to 60 minutes Alan, we can talk about the protocols of the imaging. We have different protocols of the imaging. The main protocols we discuss today is the single day protocol, where two day protocol, and the thallium protocol. And also, there is one of the important protocols that not commonly used is the dual isotope protocols that use the thallium and technetium in the same protocol. Uh, when we start the protocols, we should know some information about the collimeter. Usually we use high resolution collimeter. The window should be concert on 20% centered at the 140 kV. What's the meaning of the single day protocol? Single day protocol is the meaning we can do the rest and citrus phase on the same day. When started with a rest phase, we should give the patient 10 millicurie of technetium, either tetraphosmine or cystamibi. We can image the patient after 30 to 60 minutes after injection of 10 millicurie. Also, we can start the imaging after 60 to 90 minutes from the intravenous infusion. The imaging should be anteriorly or uh, anteriorly and left anterior oblique in 45 degree left lateral. Each of you, the count should be uh, from 750 count to 1 million after injection and finishing of the imaging of the rest phase here we should wait for hours and after that we should re-inject the patient with 30 millicurie and re-imaging after 15 to 30 minutes this called citrus study that image should start after 15 to 30 minutes of injection 30 millicurie of the tracer after that after finishing of the image we will see the final results of the single day protocol also we talk about the two day protocol two day protocol due to many many attenuation effects in the single day protocol we can do the two day protocol and the main benefit of two day protocol is to decrease the attenuation defects that can mark in the large patient and results in poor imaging quality and interpretative difficulties particularly in the lower dose study that can use it in the single day Two-day protocol approach reduces this problem by allowing 
administration of the maximum dose that from 25 to 30 millicurie for both studies on separate day either rest citrus or citrus rest depending on the patient condition on the first day that came to the hospital this approach is most commonly used in the obese patient and also commonly used in the large patient and overweight as mentioned in the obesity Also, we can use the thallium protocol. The thallium protocol should be prepared the patient well for fasting at least four hours. After that, we can administer pharma radio pharmaceutical dose from three to two point five millicurie intravenously, and after ten minutes after administration of the radio tracer, we can imaging the patient and also delay image on the three hours later conimeter that use hair low energy parallel hood parallel hood that use hair not like in the technician we can use the high energy for resolution also the patient is the same in the technician supine patient uh, with left arm raised there is a protocol called dual isotope protocol with using of technetium 99, maybe, and thallium 201. Some of the centers that use this way or this protocol to take the benefit of technetium, the main benefit, which is the rapid uptake and faster imaging. It takes the advantage of different photo peaks of technetium, which uh, approximately 140 kV, and thallium 201, which is approximately from 69 to 83 kV. The rest phase by thallium is performed firstly with 3 to 3.5 millicurie, then followed by citrus phase using. 20 to 30 millicurie of technetium system may be the main disadvantage of this protocol is poorer resolution of thallium this is a picture of a gamma camera and the gated system may be or gated may be myocardial perfusion image what's the meaning of the gated may be gated may be we can connect the patient on the gamma camera with the ECG connected directly at the time of imaging. This is called gated maybe, and this is one of the best ways for the estimated the cardiac scan and cardiac ejection fraction and cardiac uh, other parameters used in the cardiac scan. And thank you so much, and have a nice day.